Hey there, welcome, welcome. I am super excited to share this vlog with you guys just to kind of show you what a day in the, the life of a working mom on the weekend looks like. Um, of course, I want to make the distinction. I think all moms are working moms, whether you work in an office nine to five or you work at home. I mean, the whole point is, is our job is never over, right? So um, I wanted to share this weekend with you just to show you what it looks like my husband Sean was working all weekend so it was just me and my little guy as I tried to tackle my to-do list I hope this gives you motivation um, to maybe tackle your to-do list and uh, just show you basically how I try to get it all done keep my sanity at the same time and spend time with my little one so so happy you're here let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so this is the shop that I'm getting ready to go do. I'm gonna head by Target before I go home from work. Um, I'm gonna do my grocery shopping after work here, which normally I would do it with the whole family, you know, Sean and Arthur, but he, Sean is gonna be out all weekend for games. So I figured I needed to be smart and just do it tonight so I'm not tempted to order out, which I'm so bad about that, so bad about that. The best, my homecoming committee. I think any mom, any mom that works outside of the home can agree. This is the best thing to come home to. Okay, so when I go grocery shopping, I try to get enough groceries for about 10 days. But as you guys can see, I went a little overboard. So this will probably last a good couple weeks. After dinner, we did a little after dinner treat. We made blueberry muffins, and I always like doing this on the weekend because you can just freeze whatever you don't eat for dessert that night and then just use it as a snack, and Arthur loves blueberries. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? The dada. Dada, dada, dada. And here comes Dada himself coming in to <laughs> sneak in some last minute cuddles before he goes off to work.
beautiful. Look at these flowers. rinsing carp carpet spot remover um, and it did pretty well so I'm gonna finish up cleaning in the kitchen I'm gonna try to sweep and mop and then um, take you guys along with me 
Okay, so here was the spot. I mean, you can definitely tell that there was some, you know, some dirt smudged in here. Um, we had snow this past week, so yeah, snow in April, kind of crazy. But yeah, I sprayed a couple, um, couple times on the spot. And you know, for the most part, it got the stain up, which is good. It smells fresh and clean now. And um, then I just vacuumed over it. So our carpet is all fresh and clean. Okay, so I'm pretty just, I think I'm just convinced that there's a scientific law that dictates anytime your child is napping or needs to sleep because they're really cranky, um, someone decides to mow their lawn. Or your dog barks really loud and tries to wake them up. bucket of cleaner. I took the panels apart and I'm just going to get all my hands and knees here and scrub it with hot water and Mr. Clean and um, get rid of all these uh, marks and food stains once and for all. Right, so someone is awake from their nap. Someone is awake. So we're gonna make something to eat here and then we'll have some playtime. We'll have a snacky. Okay, so for lunch today we went with some, we've got some turkey and some black beans and our white cheddar bunnies and a yogurt. And then I'm gonna get this little one some ice water. What do you think? You wanna try the black beans? He loves beans. You love beans, don't you? Beans or rice? Here, can I have, can I try? Watch, let's try some. Let's try some. Mmm.
Who's that? <gasps> Who's that boy? Who's that smiley boy? Are you reaching down? So we're having goulash for dinner. To make goulash, you need ground beef, elbow mac, and uh, let's see, any kind of tomato sauce in corn. And if you're feeling very fancy, you can dice up an onion and cook it in with your meat. And then you mix it all together, and you guys, that is goulash. It's such a Midwest thing. Or maybe a southern thing, I don't know, but it's so easy to make and it's really kid friendly. So, guys, I'm looking real ragged, but real recognized real. I am not going to fix this. This is real life, real mom life. Yes, I, it's days like today where I wish that I could drink while pregnant. I wish that I could have like a glass of wine or a hard or whatever those are called, white claws, whatever. I would give anything for it right now. Um, it just makes me appreciate Sean so much when he doesn't have to work on the weekends. Um, Cause man, him and I are a team and it's like when you're by yourself and you're kind of balancing everything, you really, really learn to appreciate your partner. Right? We're just in the playpen right now, reading a book and waiting for dinner to finish. <laughs> Hi. You gonna come sit on mommy? Are you gonna come sit on mommy? Come here. Oh, that was so sweet. And here it is, all finished and mixed up. And I've got little man's portion right here. And he guys, he's been so good playing in his playpen. What are you doing, sweetie? It's so good. Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? Okay. A boo. Oh my goodness. So we just finished up with dinner and we had our bath. And this one had his first number two accident in the bathtub. That was kind of, that was pretty funny, to be honest. Um, but we had to drain the bathtub, didn't we? And then we had to like clean it out. We did, we had to clean it out and then run another bath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but obviously he's so unbothered. Look at him. You're so happy. You're so happy. You're so happy. You're so happy. So, yeah, we're gonna play a little bit longer and then his bedtime's around 8.30, so I'm gonna put him down. We'll rock together, have a bottle of milk, and, and then go to sleep very soon. Go to sleep very soon. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Bedhead. Oh, took a morning. Outside? Outside? All right, let's go outside. Okay, so last night, thank God for Dexter barking. That's like the one time I will ever say that, but Sean got home around 11 o'clock, and of course I was already asleep, and I forgot that I locked the door, so he was completely locked out. And I wouldn't have heard him. He would have had to sleep in, uh, sleep in the garage because, uh, you know, I didn't hear anything. And my phone was, my phone was uncharged, so I definitely didn't hear it. But Dexter was barking and it woke me up. And yeah, definitely, I'm sure not how Sean wanted to come home last night, right? Yeah, Daddy was kind of frustrated, but that's okay. He got inside, right? He got inside. Wow. 
We don't measure our coffee. We just kind of eyeball it. So that looks about enough. Yep, looks good. Shut it. Make it a strong brew. You walked to the out. <laughs> it was passive aggressive. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Okay, so here was my grand idea that I clearly was out of my mind. I left the side door open thinking, oh, that's fine. Like, I can lock up the house and he can just go through the side door. I don't know what I was thinking. What happened when you got. So, like, how did. So, how, how did you get Dexter to bark? Is what I want to know. I had to go to the back door. I have to go to the back door. Were you, and I saw you called me a bunch and I was dead. I was like. Yeah, I knew you were fast asleep and then I thought the front door would be unlocked but then I realized no, that wouldn't happen. So the only way I had to do was go to the back of the kitchen and get Dexter to the bar. But he knew it was you. He knew once he got up close. Once, at first he didn't, that's why he bought a lot and then as soon as he knew he was being the door was stopped. Nothing happened in my door. I know, I'm sorry. I feel horrible. I really, actually, I really do. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it at the time because I, when I heard him bark, I thought there was like an intruder. And I was like, oh, great, here we go. Let me like compile all my knowledge from Dateline and salt, you know. But yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 